self-defense in train attack. In many movies, we've seen jaw-dropping fight scenes inside trains. But is that possible, or is it a kind of special effect? Can ordinary people also fight like so-called martial art movie stars? Is there any mixed martial arts style you can use inside a train, bus, or car? Well, just relax, because today in this video, we're going to show you the best martial art forms you can use inside a train in case you get attacked. So stick to the screen and watch this video till the end. 1. Sillet Sillet is a kind of indigenous mixed martial arts style from Nisantra and other nearby areas of Southeast Asia. Traditionally, it's practiced by people from Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Southern Thailand, Southern Philippines, and Southern Vietnam. Today, most martial art forms focus on spirituality or self-perfection. But Sillet is quite different. Sillet's all about violence, and that's why we can consider this one of the deadliest martial arts in the world. If you're on a train and surrounded by robbers with weapons, Sillet can help you find your target's weakness and take control over him as quickly as possible. A Sillet practitioner learns how to make a quick attack, go close to the target, break him, knock him down within 10 seconds with a powerful strike to the face, throat, or kidney. Just like I said, Sillet is concentrated only on causing pain. So no honor, no mercy. Find weaknesses of your target and throw punches as hard as you can. 2. Krav Maga Before I tell you how this martial art form can help you during your train journey, let me tell you how and why this fighting style was invented. Krav Maga is a combined martial art form discovered by Emi Lichtenfeld, an Israeli army officer. In his 30s, Lichtenfeld was looking for a self-defense system that could be learned faster and capable of countering attacks with bare hands, blades, or firearms. Thus how Krav Maga was introduced to the world. Unlike Silik, Krav Maga aims to avoid conflict. However, if you're traveling and get captured by robbers on a train, conflict is likely possible. In that case, this form of martial arts would help you disable your opponent quickly. 3. MCMAP Marine Corps Martial Arts Program Whenever there's conflict, it's not always about knocking down your opponent. Several people have this wrong mindset. If you're a kind-hearted person and don't want to beat someone to death, possibly you'll give your belongings to the robbers inside a moving train. However, you have another option. You can just disable them using some techniques taught in Marine Corps martial arts program. Mostly, martial art programs are designed to protect you by beating the attacker. But MCMAP is different. The Marine Corps martial arts program is developed by the United States Marine Corps in 2001. It's a combat system developed by combining new hand-to-hand -hand and close combat techniques with some morals. The best part of this program is that you have to undergo mental stress, but this would help you to learn character development and how to use the force wisely. Needless to say, if you're surrounded by strange people having guns or any other sharp weapons, first you need to calm down. An attack without making any defense strategy can put your life in danger. Moreover, in such a critical situation, you have to disarm your opponent by taking care of the other passengers' lives, too. So Marine Corps Martial Arts Program is the best martial art form for you. 4. Sambo Now we're going to introduce a really interesting martial art form. So watch this part of the video without breaking your attention for a second. Now you hardly carry any kind of weapon while traveling on a train unless you're a billionaire, a political personality, or a supreme leader of the crime world. Thus, beating attackers might be challenging for you. However, if you practice Sambo, you can learn several super moves to knock down your enemy in no time without using a weapon. This Russian martial arts style is known for its quickness and efficiency. There are three common moves, ground control skills, takedowns, and leg locks. The goal of this martial art is to end the fight as soon as possible. In this martial art form, you can also see some techniques and moves of judo and wrestling, such as throws and submission holds. With the use of standing fighting techniques such as punching, kicking, knee strikes, and elbow strikes. But why is it called Sambo? Well, Sambo is an acronym for three Russian words Samoza Sashida Bez Oruz Hiya, which means self defense without weapons. So if you like this style and the ideology behind its creation, make sure to learn a few moves and practice them. 5. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now, before I talk about the origin of this fighting style, let me tell you why we included this on our list. 
Whenever there's a fight, a fighter can produce massive force if he or she has sufficient space. But inside a moving train, that's not possible. But after mastering a few Brazilian jiu-jitsu moves, you can defend yourself against any possible threats. This martial arts style is based on the principle that any smaller or weaker person using balance and technique can successfully defend against a bigger and stronger attacker, so we can assume that if you master this or if you learn a few easy moves, you can beat attackers in a small space. Moreover, for the ladies with shorter heights, learning BJJ can be a great advantage if she's residing in any area where the crime rate is high. The fighting technique focuses on grappling and ground fighting. The main aim of this martial arts style is to gain a dominant position using joint locks and choking to stop an assailant, rather than striking techniques commonly used in karate-related martial arts. According to martial art experts, it can be a very deadly form of martial art, especially if you're a smaller person. 6. Line Line is another great close combat system derived from various martial arts. It was developed by Ron Donvito, a retired combat arms marine. The word line is an acronym that stands for Linear Infighting Neural Override Engagement. This fighting style is divided into six stages. In stage one, you'll learn how to deal with attacks in the grappling range. This stage covers grabs, chokes, and headlocks. After mastering grappling, you're ready for the next stage, line two. And this stage is all about how to make your punches and kicks stronger. Line three is our ground fighting phase, and in line four, you're trained to defend against an edged or handheld weapon. In the next stage, line five, you'll learn how to use edged weapon, and finally, line six is all about enemy neutralization. This program was used by the United States Marine Corps between 1989 and 1998. After 1998, it was promoted to the U.S. Army Special Forces. There's a valid reason why I included this in our list. Other martial arts styles that we've just discussed are close combat fighting styles, but line gives you a few other advantages. Line includes some useful techniques that would help you to dominate your enemy even in low light conditions or other impaired visibility conditions. Let's say before a conflict, you're attacked by spray that causes you temporary blindness or you lose visibility. In such a scenario, line techniques can be your guardian. 7. Muay Thai Muay Thai is all about defeating your opponent by using your elbows and knees. Fighters mostly use hands and feet, especially their elbows and knees. This martial art form is also known as the art of eight limbs or the science of eight limbs. The history of this fighting style begins in the 16th century. Muay Thai was practiced during the conflict between the Burmese of the Konbong dynasty and Siam. In 1990, Western fighting schools began teaching Muay Thai to their students and soon Thai developed its own federation, IFMA. There are mainly two techniques in this martial arts form. The first is Mai Mei, which means major techniques, and the second is Luk Mai, which means minor techniques. You can also call Muay Thai a powerful combination since this fighting style includes jabs, cross punches, hooks, uppercuts, Superman punches, a whole complement of elbow strikes, straight kicks, roundhouses, shin kicks, a series of knee strikes, and more. Some of the top fighters of Muay Thai are Anderson Silva, Wanderlei Silva, Michael Bisping, and Chris Cyborg. So this was the list of the close combat fighting styles. Some of these martial arts require less time and others are most deadly, and you need less space to produce force. We've made in-depth research and extracted some of these fighting styles, but let us know what you think about self-defense in martial arts. Please hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel if you like watching such videos. Thanks for watching.